Hey there viewers, Eric O, South Main Auto. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome to our channel. Got a pretty easy fix today. Got this 2004 Buick LeSabre that we're sitting in. It's got a little bit of a problem. The temperature gauge on the inside here says it's 134 degrees outside. I've still got my winter coat on, so I know that's not true. It's only about 60 degrees in the shop, and uh, this is a pretty easy fix, and it's a pretty common problem. So I'm going to show you how to take care of it. You can see here down on the uh, temperature control in the car that it says it's 134 degrees outside. Well, we know that's not true. So I'm going to show you how to change the ambient air temperature sensor, and uh, we'll come back in and see if this works. If you just go ahead and pop the hood, so you've got your hood release right here. This kind of give you a reference as to where we're at. The sensor we're going to want to get to is right here. It's the one I'm actually touching my finger. Let's see if I can zoom in on that for you, give you an idea what that uh, what that looks like. So it's right there in the middle of the screen. It's just got the uh, two prong connector on it, and uh, they're, usually they're pretty readily available at most parts stores. I just called down to Advance Auto and got one, and that's the part number on that WT3035. This is what the sensor looks like. Really not much to it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try to get that old one out of there. So you just got to un unhook the connector that's on it. So that just pops right off. And this one's held in with a little push nail. So I'm just going to go in there with a pair of side cutters and just kind of pull the center out of that. Let's see if I can't uh, try to do it so you can see it, but I don't think that's going to happen. So. I'll show you once I get it off here. Pull that up out of there, show you what this looks like. So, not much to it. It's got this little push nail retainer. I guess that's what I've always called them. So, essentially what you gotta do is just pull that center out of that push nail, and then that little uh, plastic rivet will come up out. So, there's our old sensor. So we're gonna take and stick the, we'll just put that right back in there, and then we'll stick this down in there. Hook it back up. Plug it back in. Plug the new one in here, rather. Now, don't get me wrong, there could be multiple things that are wrong with your car that causes this problem, but this is the most likely one. That sensor, I think, costs about $12 or $13, so it's uh, also a pretty cheap guess if you're wrong. But uh, I've done enough of these that uh, yeah, we should be right. That's what it looks like when it's installed. So now we'll go inside the car here. Turn the key back on. We should be in good shape. Let's see what we got here. Hey, that's more like it. 69 degrees outside, and that's probably because we were just handling it. So, yeah, a whole lot different than 134. Well, you can see, viewers, that's a really simple fix. So, if you own a Buick LeSabre and well, you've got that same problem with your uh, display on the inside. You can see how quick and easy that is. I mean, you can almost change right in the lot at the, uh, at the parts store. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a real short one. It wasn't anything really uh, scientific or we didn't go into uh, ohm charts or anything checking out that sensor because, well, quite frankly, in these cases, sometimes it's cheaper to replace it than it is to test it. So, if you like our channel, subscribe to it. If you uh, like this video, give us a thumbs up. And as always, viewers, remember, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.